What up, what up, what up? The fun part of racing. <laughs> Homeboy in the 900 horsepower Hellcat. He's on the other side of the road. What up, guys? It's another vlog. Today we got the car back. Uh, first time to do testing after TX2K. Broke the rear diff really bad, but now it's completely built. Front disc getting built next month, so we're gonna go out and do some soft testing today. I'm doing all the tuning today by myself for the first time ever. So like, boost on the top end, you know, everything launch. Um, so a little bit nervous, but excited to have a little more control with this EcuTech. I was on Cobb before, and you can't have that kind of control with Cobb, but like, this ECU tech, EcuTech, it's amazing. Like, I can control everything on my phone. I can look at all the levels, like, it's all right there and it's so easy. So, really excited for today. But, my goal, sub 9.5. All right, so I lost my tire pressure gauge. I don't know where it went, my digital one. So, we're gonna go grab that. I'm gonna get some breakfast. We're running a little late and then we're gonna head straight there. I'm not bringing my trailer today. I'm driving the car there, swapping to the slicks at the track, and then driving it home. So, true street car. No one can say anything otherwise. All right, well, I got my McDonald's. And again, like y'all know, I love my McDonald's. So, um, kind of crazy. I was actually in Utah just like yesterday. So, I went down. If you guys have been seeing my vlogs, I just got back from fixing the car yesterday. So, got in yesterday. Got a little bit of sleep last night and stuff, and then get back up this morning and right back at it. So going to racing now, it's just, it's crazy out here, but I'm excited and we work this hard so that we can enjoy the car and do things like this. So it's no reason to go home and rest from a big trip and I think I have a broken rib. I had a big fall in Utah, but it's like just ugh, excited. I don't even care, I'm just excited. Also, because I lost my tire pressure sensor, we are now waiting for 10 minutes uh, outside of the local, which one is this? Is this AutoZone or? It is AutoZone. Yeah, AutoZone. <laughs> I've got to wait for them, but it's like in my breakfast. We just need like an accurate one. So we just got here at Import Face Off Pacific Raceways and uh, ooh, she looking pretty. We actually got her washed, so she looks pretty good. Hoping for some good times today. Not sure what's gonna happen yet. Ugh. Since I'm doing my own tuning, I'm starting out at like 25, 26 PSI. So it should be around 800, a little over 800 wheel horsepower. And uh, dial that in and see what it does on these tires because the combo's a little weird and then See what happens, turn it up, and I'll show you guys as I go. So far I got the base map going on right now, the new one that I got with John. Uh, John Drainus down in California. So uh, this is a little bit less timing, a little less aggressive. And then I'm gonna play with the boost and everything on the top end and on the launch and how hard I'm coming off. But right now, this is dope, look at this. The whole system's going through itself and it's, it's adjusting everything for the tune that John did for me that I don't know how to do yet. Oh, it says switch ignition off. Oh, my phone. Oh, she's like. <laughs> but, yeah, so we're on the, we're on the road now. There we go, flashing. First time's going smooth. 
<laughs> See, normally I have Luke for this. <laughs> Luke! Where's your hair at? <laughs> My car needs boost. Alright, so programming sequence has now completed. Bing, bang, boom. I've got the new map on. We're good to go. Um, so. Get a better idea of what the car is going to do out here on these tires and everything and then uh, yeah my goal is again sub like sub 95 anything under 95 that would be extremely happy today and then drive home not have to go pick up the trailer so <laughs> but yeah I'm getting excited this is it's been a while TA2K didn't go as planned so I'm, this is even more exciting like hometown too Ugh. All right. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm actually not pushing that much. I'm paralyzed, and I'm just going for eight. So I just want to be careful with the parachute. Yeah. Okay. So. No, this is. A, it's actually a completely stock block. I'm trying to oh, become the first stock block in eight. So. No kid. Yeah. Wow. Broke real bad in TX2K. So. Awesome. Yeah. You gonna be a race car driver someday? Yeah. Trying to get it anyway. Yeah. Awesome. I know. We were trying to get her to come over here and talk. She's shy. She's shy. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Hey. Like, wow, that's cool. Yeah, see, I mean, I'm carrying my seat the waist down, so I'm yeah. down to talk at any time. Yeah, right. of course. If she, if she gets more fun for anything and wants to talk, let me know when you talk today. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. That's awesome. You guys are supposed to do yeah. stuff like that. Appreciate it. Yeah. The fun part of racing. <laughs> Like my suit. <laughs> just kidding. You know how like when you walk in and you have two legs, you get a smooth walk? Yeah. That's a smooth roll. <laughs> you, you said uh, 16, right? How long did it say it took that other guy? He said a uh, fat minute. Tanner's new daily. Alright, so we here waiting in tech line. It's like a mile long line. This is my first supporter of the new t-shirts, by the way. He's here, so I figured I'd show. Yeah, first guy to buy one of the new ones. That was dope. Peace. Alright, so this guy is racing this and it's pretty pretty dope. Alright, so you're racing this thing, man? Hell yeah, bro. What, what are you going for? Getting it, bro. <laughs> what you trying to run? 15 second truck, brother. Heck yeah, man. Good luck out there, bro. Thanks, bro. Look at that thing. Most days we're gonna melt the tires out of the Hey, hey, that's still a good day. Hell yeah, brother. That burnout and everything. Huh? And the, you remember how to record the burnout yeah. launch? Heck yeah. All right. Are you right, Lane? Uh, I'm not know, sure until yet. You get up there. Yeah, I'm not sure until we get up there. Okay. Like, but once I get into the stage, I have to reach down and take my prosthetic off and put it on the side. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, awesome. Thanks, man. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's fine. All right. All right, so I just did some tuning. I have no boost on my launch, so I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we're going to give it a shot.
6560. Oh my gosh. That's a hey that's the worst 60 foot I've ever had in this really? car. It looked good. Oh. Alright guys, so first pass is kind of a fail. Um still not getting any boost on the launch for some reason. We had that problem in Texas and John figured it out, but uh I can't get a hold of him right now, so I'm not sure what's going on, but um I'm gonna try to put it on the old map and then just turn that map down myself and see if I can play with that because yeah. This is uh yeah, I ran a 99 with a 165 60 foot, which is like the worst 60 foot I've ever had. Even like I did better than that on radials, so um, time to figure something out. Yeah, that's what I tuned, yeah, I tuned the whole part of the boost in the top end. Still need to go up a little bit more. One point five bar it is, let's see what it does. That's about seven pounds. Alright, so I think we just got like seven pounds of boost right there. All right, so um, first run, I ran a Civic, uh, Rich from Rich Tune, and I got beat. So uh, this run, I actually finally found boost for my launch, so we should be leaving the line a lot harder. And then I added a little bit more up top too, so that we can get some more mile per hour. So this run, if everything goes well, should be hopefully like a mid nine, like nine five, nine six, if it goes right. So fingers crossed. Can you uh, pull your shoes? For you because it's a regulation. Oh, okay. Yeah, they go cool. down a track. No, it's, and even though you don't need yeah, it, and you slowed it down. We just got to keep it real, all right? Understandable, man. Well, Completely. No problem, this is my right. first time with the shoes, so I got to learn too. Yeah, very good. <laughs> hey, Appreciate you, know you. When you need it, the motor won't work if the pins in it. Yeah. Well, I don't have the boost that high up today to need it, but you never know. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, man. Should we pull it? Yeah, we'll pull it once we get up there. When I, I basically uh, 17 fly from the front. Okay. And then awesome. Um, when we get up there, since he's recording, can yeah. you actually be my line man? So like, line me up in the burnout, so... Actually, Jeremy's there for the burnout, so that's not a big deal. So line, after I do the burnout, if you can make sure my time is going in groups, yeah. when I go into the actual line, and tell okay. me where to adjust or whatnot. Just stand right in front of you, or...? Yeah, that works, yeah. Okay. I mean, they don't really care, so... Yeah. Or if you, when I'm coming up, if you're just right here at the angle and stay on the side, they might... They might like that a little more. Okay. Um, and then just make sure my tires are lining up in the groove okay. so that I don't go out and hit a wall. <laughs> so come in. Show this real quick from the back corner. From the back corner, you, you can Okay. So we got some boost building now. Nice. So that pretty much, we almost pulled it again. Um, now, now that we got that, the launch has turned up quite a bit, so we should be coming off with almost 10 pounds of boost now, and it's just gonna be hit and go if we get it. So, fingers crossed on this one, because now we're getting some boost.
fast the car's done. Really? Yeah. And it had a crap 60 foot. Woo! Dang, 6-1 to the 8 still. And I did a 1-4-3 60 foot. So I still got more in the 60 by a lot. Yeah, I tightened up my... 9-5-4 uh, at 143. My shoes started coming off. Oh, this is coming <laughs> yeah. on with rev? Dang! 954 at 143. That's like normally 147 for that. Like, Woo. now we're getting somewhere. I'm liking this. We got the All right, I'm gonna figure out. But yeah, nice. we're. Uh, I mean, if I would have the all four slicks out here and and everything else, then I could potentially go for the eight. See enough? I'm trying to get like a 9-4. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's my goal today. Hit a 9-4 on this pass, get kicked out, and then whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least I got the you have your parachute with me, too. I do, but they, they actually just told me they're going to kick me out because I'm not certified okay. without a license because I'm paralyzed. I can't. So. Oh. Yep, yeah. exactly. Here we go. So, this is round three. I just got pulled by the track guys who told me if I run in the nines again, I'm kicked out for the fourth year in a row. After last year, they told me if I get a cage, they'll let me run. But now they're saying I need to have the chassis certified and a racing license, which I can't currently do unless I put hand controls in the car, which I'm not willing to do. So here's the last run. We turned it up as much as this tune will turn it up to and try to cut a 9-4. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's turned up as much as we can on this tune, except for the top end, because I don't want to blow the motor up. So we'll just see what happens and see if we can get a 9.4 with a better 60 foot. Let's get it. Get it, get it, get it. Let's go racing. Just did another run. I got eliminated out of my class. The guy with me was a Celica. He just ran an 8-8 eight, eight fast, like really fast. So, oh, I always leave the keys in the car. My bad. Thank you. Um, anyway, so I ended up running a 9-6. It was a little bit good. We didn't get much data from it because I spun off the line pretty bad. So I'm going to try to get a little bit bigger burnout again. Uh, let go of the line lock release a little too early. So it shifted through all the gears really fast. So when I got to a higher gear, it just bogged. So gonna try it again but they told me basically I am technically kicked out but they're gonna let me do one more pass tonight if I'm like careful and wait and don't go with the other guy so they're being really nice and let me go do another pass so I'm gonna try to turn it up a little bit more and see if I can get a 9-4 out of it and yeah we're gonna go get some food though cuz let me see the camera we got everyone here we got Myra and her brothers here we got cousin we got Dennis friend, right here. we got Dennis Talking right here. Girlfriend. <laughs> so yeah, we got kind of like a lot of people here hanging out, so we're gonna go have a good time and watch some cars race and I'm gonna go get some food because I'm hungry. Perfect American. Are you recording me? Are you vlogging me? Yeah. I'm not giving you consent. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. DP Films. I'm the main protagonist. <laughs> dab dab. <laughs> that will be $150 for a shout out. <laughs> Whoa! I don't have that. What you doing? Can you hand me my backpack, please? What are you doing? Turn in the car. I'm, uh. John just finally woke up and contacted us. And uh, he's sending me, well, he sent me a different tune for a little bit more power. And we're going to play with it now and just 
Let's see what happens now. So this is the fun part. First we gotta detect the vehicle. There she is. <laughs> and we're gonna program the ECU, not the transmission, or any of the other stuff. What's the ECU? ECU is the computer that runs the entire car. So like everything you do in the car is run through the ECU. If you change your, or if you put your changer on, whatever. It's, you know, through the ECU, if you, I don't know, anything, anything you do in the car, windows, it's all controlled by the ECU. And so is the power to the engine. So it's engine management as well. Now I have to find it. Sounds like fun. It's very fun-ish. All right, so this part's kind of cool to me. Like, I'm still learning all this stuff. But as soon as I program the map that I want to have on here onto the ECU, watch, watch the, look at that. That's EQ Tech just doing his thing. It's going through everything. It's erasing all the flash points that were on there before for the things that I wanted the engine to do and stuff. And it's putting all the new ones back on and making adjustments as it goes, turning off warning lights, everything. This EQ Tech is just, it's insane. So I, I, I think this is really cool. Ready to go? Just about. I turned her down a little bit for the center map. Alright, so don't forget to sit at the light. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I would say go to like 13 it? on the back. Like what? The racing. Uh-huh. Do you want to race? No. Uh-huh. Max. Meow. Meow. Click! Mira, your husband is hitting me. That's fine. Thank you. You can hit him back. I didn't you know need permission. Right now. Ah, so All right, guys. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Well, they told us if we got in the test and tune line that we would get one more run, but they shut us down with like a few cars to go. So that kind of sucks. But got my personal best today of the 953, and I'm really happy about that one. The car is back on the road and moving. So I'll hit a test and tune again pretty soon here, and then yeah, try to get deeper in the nines. But other than that, it's kind of has some street fun. Ah, just it's so weird. Like you know what I mean? I, I guess I'm just like yeah, I'm like used to doing my own thing. So, but ah, thank you guys. It does make things a lot. It makes things a lot easier when people help, but I don't always accept it or like it. <laughs> I like how you just shoved your face in there. Do you like that? <laughs> so, um, oh, sorry. No, no, please go ahead. Uh, real quick, so I can't really change my tires today because I forgot my pads and I can't sit on the ground with my butt bones. So my cousin Brandon's changing them for me. Shout out Q50 Brandon on Instagram. Thank you, bro. It's a family affair today, so we're almost out of here. Then we're gonna do some street stuff, maybe, but that's about it for today. All right. I'm not sure I have a stick with me, but what? How about that? I got one of those. Uh, heck yeah! How's that? Yeah. This is my newest one and everything. So yeah, you like that? There you that's go. Awesome. That's sweet. You want to maybe put it on and take another picture with it on? Well, put it on? Can I put one in? Can I put it on if we can? Put it on. No? You no? Do you want to? <laughs> you want to it? It's okay. It's it is okay. kind of warm. You want to you put it up to you like you're wearing it? Like hold it there to you? There we go. That's cool. You want to take a, you want to take a you picture of us? Uh, you want to take a picture of us? You want to come back here? All right, guys. Well, that was awesome just being able to meet her right there. Um, we just kind of wanted to show a little bit. I was able to talk to her for a little bit and just... It's not just me being an inspiration to her, she's an inspiration to me. It's awesome to meet these people and just see her face light up as I gave her this shirt and everything just made me emotional. So it's, it's, it's why I do all this and it just reminds me every time it happens, like it's just, it's what I'm meant to do to help other people like that right there. So every time it happens, it's just a big blessing. So 
Um, yeah, great day now. I don't even care about the racing anymore. That was awesome. She got to watch me race, which was really cool. Yeah, that was a good day, so. All right, guys, well, we thought we were done. We're not done yet. Sean and I are gonna go grab some food, so we're gonna cruise the GTR a little bit more on the street. And uh, yeah, have a good time and go get some freaking pizza. I deserve some today. <laughs> are you recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. So first things first, we gotta get some air back in the tires from the track. So I took my leg off, so <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thanks, bro, appreciate it. Did you run out here to check it out? Okay. That's dedication, brother. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Dudes are running out looking at the car like some other dude just walked up. Do you really have an effing parachute in that? Like, yeah. <laughs> you are the coolest mother ever out here. <laughs> This is wild having a parachute on the street. Like, this is just nuts. Never thought I'd be doing something like this. I on Chick-fil-A. <laughs> this is a lot better after a long day. There's too many people out here. Oh my gosh. He's all the way over there. <laughs> Homeboy in the 900 horsepower hell drive. He's on the other side of the road. We about to get it though. Oh, <laughs> 